What's up guys, it's Apple Master for you today. And in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys 5.0.1 jailbreak for um iOS 5.0. So what you have to do is open up your browser, go to this link in the description. This was made by Ty's iPhone Help. If you already know this um YouTube user, please check out his channel. He's a great Apple guy if you sort of know what I mean. So um he's made the 5.0.1 jailbreak. Um as you can see there is there's his video there, I'll have that link in the description. Um, you're just gonna have to go to this page. The link will be in the description as well, and you'll get um, you'll just see on the front page here downloads. What we need here is um, exit out of that. We're just gonna have to go. We've got Red Snow for Mac. So if you're using a Mac, just click that. Red Snow for Windows. If you're using a Windows, just click that. And that's just a download for your iPod firmware. Which um, so you're gonna have to go. I'm just gonna go Windows. I'm not gonna download it, but as you see, then we'll go to here. Click here to install your attachment and it'll pop up down the bottom. And then you just wait for it to load, then open it up and save it. Um, this will work over the top of another jailbreak, meaning if you're already done uh, 4.2.1 or something, 4.3.3 or something like that, you're running that on your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad or whatever, um, you'll then, uh, you'll just, um, you can just do it over the top of there. Make sure you go into iTunes, sync all your um, apps, music, whatever, onto your computer. Sync that all on there so you've got it, and just like you were doing a normal um, update for Apple. Um, sorry, guys, for iPhone 4S and iPad 2, you cannot do this jailbreak. And um, yeah, because not at the moment, but it'll be coming out soon, the jailbreak for that, but you cannot do that. So um, you're just going to have to install that. Um, you'll get, I'm not going to show you now, but you'll get something similar to like in the 4.2.1 of Green Poison. I'll just show you here how, um, it used to be similar to this, how you'd just get like, a, um, you'd get this and then you'd, you know, and you just press prepare to jailbreak and do the steps in DFU mode and that. That's what you do the same for this. So, um, yeah, that's what you're going to have to do. You have to be on 5.0.1 and you need to then do the jailbreak for that. Uh, this is an untethered jailbreak, meaning you don't need to plug it up to the computer and re-jailbreak it if you want to do updates or sync or something like that. So there's no need to worry about um, that. This is um untethered jailbreak. So um if you're doing this, if you've already got a tethered jailbreak on 5.0.1 um, and you want to jailbreak over the top of it, you can do that. Simply all you need to do is download the jailbreak and do it, and it sh will turn your... um jailbreak that you have so far into an untethered jailbreak. So follow the li tick lists guys and once you've done everything it'll say have tick boxes saying install Cydia, battery percentage and that. What you want to have ticked is install Cydia and battery percentage ticked if you're new to the jailbreak 5.0.1. If you've already got another jailbreak 5.0.1 um, Untick Cydia. So what you're also going to have to do is before you do the jailbreak update, the jailbreak update, yeah, you're going to have to go onto your iPod and remove all the sources you have. I'm sorry about this. You're probably going to have to write them down. Remove all your sources you have simply because when you read your only if you, but if you're doing it um with a um tethered version, which is going to turn into an untethered version, you don't need to worry. But um if you're doing a whole different jailbreak from two four point two point one or whatever to five point oh five point zero point one. You're going to have to remove all your sources, write them down, just so, because when you do the update and you still have all those sources on there, they'll become junk, they'll be a waste of space, you won't be able to use them, they'll be corrupt, basically, so, and the only, you can't really delete them even on the computer, so make sure <coughs> all your sources have been deleted before you go and do the 5.0.1 update. So just delete everything. You can just reinstall it on 5.0.1 if you want to, just all your sources. So I suggest write them down. So make sure you have all that done. Uh, it doesn't work for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S, so don't try it on that. Um, that'll be coming out very soon, a jailbreak for that. But um, until then, guys, all thanks to Ty's iPhone help. Just wanted to spread it to you guys, for making the 5.0.1 um, jailbreak. Uh, check him out in the link in the description. And I uh, hope this helped you, and I hope you jail going to be jailbroken for your um, 5.0.1 device, so this is an iPod Touch 4G, you can use it on iPhone 4G, iPod, iPad 1, you can use it on 3GS, 3G, whatever, anything under the 4S and the um, iPad 2. Please rate, comment, subscribe to
a type of mastered guys and I will see you guys in the next one of my videos like this video guys um thank you and ascension is coming